Hey there, train enthusiasts and Thomas fans. Welcome back to our channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of locomotives. Today, we're tackling a question that's sure to spark some debate. Was Thomas really a useful engine in real life? Let's find out. Our beloved Thomas is modelled after the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway E2 class designed by Lawson Billington between 1913 and 1916. These 060 steam locomotives were intended for shunting and short distance goods trains. On paper, the E2s seemed promising. They featured a 060 wheel configuration, ideal for shunting duties, and had a water capacity ranging from 1,090 to 1,256 imperial gallons, depending on the batch. However, in practice, the E2s faced significant challenges. Their small coal bunkers limited their range, requiring frequent refuelling stops, which hampered their efficiency on longer routes. Their 16-foot wheelbase made navigating tight curves difficult, especially in confined spaces like docks and yards. This limitation restricted their versatility in various shunting scenarios. In the 1950s, some E2s were deployed at Southampton docks. However, their long wheelbase proved disadvantageous compared to other shunters with shorter wheelbases, limiting their operational effectiveness. Despite their shortcomings, the E2s hold a special place in railway history, primarily because of their association with Thomas. But in real-world operations, they were far from the really useful engine we know and love. Thomas's character embodies reliability, hard work, and charm, qualities that have endeared him to audiences worldwide. Yet, the real E2s struggled to meet the demands placed upon them, leading to their eventual withdrawal between 1961 and 1963. So, while Thomas's real-life counterparts may not have been the most efficient engines on the tracks, they've given us a timeless character who continues to inspire and entertain. Thanks for joining us on this journey into railway history. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more locomotive insights. Until next time, keep those engines steaming.